Hey everyone, it's Queen of Light 1111. How are you guys doing? It is Monday, June 24th here with your Twin Flame Energy check-in. So um, I've got a lot of cards here, so I know it looks a little bit like a, a mess, okay? But I've got a lot of cards. I did a um, quick Akashic check to see what's going on in the connection. Um, obviously, we have the ma masculine and feminine space. We've got the current connective energy. We've got messages from the masculine to the feminine and vice versa. And then we have their blessings, okay? So I want to go ahead and get started with the blessings and start to get some of these cards off the table. I'll tell you, just from my quick look at this connection, there is conflict. There's conflict. There's loss. You guys are, if you're resonating, still in separation, right? Yes, in some sort of communication, but I just feel like that communication is very, very challenged at this time. If not, um, it's been challenging and now perhaps you're not communicating. And it has a lot to do with this masculine's self-worth, financial stability, and independence and you know i know right guys i can hear you already i'm getting sick of the story getting sick of the story i mean i was i don't make up the story but this is the story again that he's just in this wanting to be a financially stable equally contributing masculine and i know when i coach the your the feminines they're like we don't care about the money i get it but he needs to feel like he is a contributor, that he is a man, that he is the equal, that he is the emperor. And that's part of this financial piece that's coming up yet again, which is creating defeat and some wounds in the connection. I will tell you our empress is standing very, very tall as the high priestess, the empress, the queen of wands, the queen of cups. She's, um, she's you know, she's like past that money stuff okay and um she's really kind of in this decision making about hey is this ever going to stabilize i'm trying she's trying to stabilize her desire for wanting to move away from this connection to being in her emotions and being understanding about what the challenges are in the connection she's still in a good place she's not heartbroken i'll tell you guys that right now she's not heartbroken she does know that the tower fell again in the 3D for the for both of them, but and it's a burden, but you know what? She's handling it like a champ, like the Empress. Um, they are mirroring a lot. We are ending cycles. You know, this is just a cycle that we continue to stay in around stability, around balancing, around setting up a solid foundation. And you know, in the 3D world, the solid foundation comes with, yes, love, but for a masculine energy that comes with financial stability as well okay so i don't get the sense that he's completely chasing money but it is at the top of his mind about him being a financial equivalent to his feminine at this time so his blessing oh by the way if you guys want to book your own personal reading go to queen of light 1111.com um also if you want to book a coaching session go to queen of light 1111.com and um, I would be happy and very honored to work with you, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Our masculine's first blessing is the blessing of a fresh start. This is the number 34 card, which is the number seven. Blessing of a fresh start. I mean, right? He, there's this loss again in this connection. I mean, he's got the five of swords in his headspace, clarified by the nine of wands. And it's very much this like concession. This like I'm conceding. I'm taking the loss, right? We both lost in this and i don't know if i'm ever going to be your match that is very much his energy and so with this blessing he's being blessed with um this fresh start okay and he's also being blessed with this you know number 34 which is the number seven which is about the spiritual lesson this spiritual lesson on his spiritual journey with his twin so a blessing for a fresh start is that you know, it's for when we must begin a part or even a great deal of our lives anew. When this comes up, this is like a blessing upon him as he strikes out from this familiar place, right? With all its troubles and what he knew. And it's like this uncertainty which surrounds him and the fear of what is coming up. This is about blessing him 
so that you know he can take the sp the first steps very bravely towards his feminine okay and they're also blessing him with finding comfort and ease and embracing the new and that the loneliness that he's encountering you know is is more like a, a time of solitude a more of a hermit's energy and a getting to know himself rather than you know this energy of defeat over and over and over again so they're blessing him with this energy for a fresh start for our feminine they're blessing her with the resolution the tower came right she's just like oh my god here we go again this thing fell apart again we were so close to what she thought was union again only for it to be reeled back and the tower falling crumbling so for her it's a blessing on a resolution number 27 this is a number nine so nine is about individual journeys it's about independence and so this blessing of um a resolution has everything to do with a respectful resolution to a troubling condition okay or a situation or a set of circumstances this is about you know instead of competing it's about cooperating it's about you know this energy of being truthful and not manipulative and this is about you know trying to change things for the better okay this is not about you know exercising your queen of wands queen of swords energy this is about if you want a resolution cooperate try to cooperate so she does she does go into her high priestess energy she retreats to go within so that she can find this blessing to a resolution what is the energy or the blessing rather for their connection a blessing for growing older and a blessing for fire when i got this growing older thing i was like yeah you know i'm getting old here waiting for these people to come into union like what the hell so um this is a number 38 card which is 11 this is about self mastery so when i actually looked at the book and i looked at this this is all about wisdom this is all about wisdom they are gaining the knowledge and the wisdom in this connection at this time and the universe is blessing them with wisdom with knowledge okay and this is about being mature not in this page night energy this is about being mature right this is about a blessing for this maturity and this wisdom and then doing sacred things that will be fulfilling and magical so they're being blessed with hey get get a little smarter guys and then with this fire card number three that's about co-creation that is all about you know hopefully lighting a fire under somebody it's all about passion motivation creativity the spark to life so they're saying get grow up no i don't mean grow up but what i mean is get wise get mature understand what this connection is about and then come into this newfound inspiration this energy of fire and be ignited to move forward okay and co-create with each other and you know come together as masculine feminine with the universe and create that trinity that union so what they're doing is they're blessing the universe is blessing this connection with wisdom so that they get wiser about what the priorities should be wiser about their hurdles in the past and then giving the, them this new fire this inspiration this passion to come together all right i'm going to go into messages from the masculine and then i'll get into the other parts of the reading his first message that he wants to say to you guys to the feminines is crossroads he is at a crossroads he absolutely is about this connection he doesn't know if he wants he wants to stay on it or he doesn't or if he wants to leave it and when i clarified this i got judgment he is evaluating he's standing at the fork in the road right now and he's not sure if he wants to be with this feminine or if he wants to detach from her he, he's being honest this is the truth it comes up with the two of wands in his headspace he's thinking he's evaluating judgment is a card of evaluation it's also a card of rebirth it's also a card of judgment right using your judgment and while he's at a crossroads he's thinking do i want this or do i not want it his second message to his feminine is that he's sad grief he is sad what about this grief queen of pentacles she comes out as the empress and the queen of pentacles a lot she comes out as the queen of pentacles today because he is thinking about his money he's thinking about his finances and she is someone who has her empire or her pentacles together okay she's nurturing she's 
built this home, this life, and he's just sad. He's just sad that he's not sure that he's going to be able to match it. And that's why he's at this crossroads. And his last message to her is deception. It came out reversed. So for me, it's like he's coming out of this energy. And I said, what is the deception strength? I'm telling you, my first message is he is pretending to be strong. His energy is he's sad. He's sad. His energy is he's in grief about you, Queen of Pentacles. But he's deceiving you and pretending that he's strong. He's deceiving you. And he's in his pride and in his ego. And he's if he's like uh, with or without you kind of energy, he's deceiving himself. He's deceiving himself because he's sad. And he's telling you, he's, I'm, I'm showing you I'm strong, but I'm deceiving you. I'm not strong. I said, give me another card. Make sure it's not a third party. And I got 10 of wands. It's his biggest burden to pretend that he's strong when he is sad. That is his biggest, biggest burden. 10 of wands. The good news is, though, it's a 10 cycle completing on this self-sabotaging deceptive energy he's going to get through it i just don't know what he's going to choose yet right what is the message from the feminine to the masculine ascending she's telling um, her masculine that she's ascended and she knows he is too what is he ascending into the king of cups she wants him to get into this heart space versus the king of pentacles energy right she wants him to chase the love not the money and so her message is please awaken your heart awaken your heart space and become my king of cups her next message is unawakened and it's like you're showing me you're unawakened by the way that you're behaving about this financial disposition and it's clarified by the wheel of fortune and so it's like she knows that he's going to come into a better time if he chooses love and not money but she knows that he will continue in his cycle. He will come into a better time. And she's saying that she knows that, right? He's saying he's deceiving her. She's saying, you know, wake up. It's not about the money. It's about the love. And the last thing that she's sharing is shadow work and is clarified by the empress. And I feel like our empress is going through some final stages of shadow work at this time and and that has to probably do a lot with this rebuild and this burden that she's feeling about these false starts which feel like we're headed towards something only to go five steps back into you know what feels like non-communication again and so she's just doing her final stages of shadow work and she's saying yeah i'm in my power but the learning always continues the shadow always continues with the light and she's balancing these things out she is the empress okay now where are they in their akashic records and by the way if you guys are interested in booking your own akashic records reading to see what your connection is all about i have that available on my website okay first card for where they are today chess game there's power plays right now there's a power play going on i don't really like this card that much but it's the truth there is a power play happening in this connection like you know i am strong but i'm not strong i have you know I'm, i don't i'm not your match but i'm going to pretend i'm better so this chess game this chess game is all about um conflict it's really about conflict within this connection at this time where they are both divided when this comes up, deceit is present, and he's already called it out very honestly in this reading that he is deceiving you about his strength, and he's deceiving you by playing into his ego, playing into his pride when he's actually in grief, and he's actually feeling lack, but yet he's deceiving you to show you or pretend that he is his, his ego is just getting the best of him to show him that he's strong. He doesn't need your connection. So deceit is present at this time. And it's time for you feminines, if you're going through this, or masculine, if, if this is, if you know, if the feminine is deceitful, to take a step back, which is what our feminine here is doing. And this is about, you know, look, don't have more heated conversations. No matter how challenging, try to maintain your inner peace. Don't participate in any battles or allegiances with this person right now okay because you're not you don't want to be 
deceived. Be cool and be unemotional and detach yourself from this masculine at this time, okay? This is a time to distance yourself from him because he's very much cycling out some sort of energy that is necessary for his continued evolution. His next, the next card for where they are in their connection, so there is this power play, there's this deceit, is the lightning bolt. When the lightning bolt comes up, again, that's the conflict that happened because of the chess game. And this card is all about, you know, like the lightning comes and it really shakes things up and it's a disappointment. There's disappointment in this connection at this time, all right? And um, you're feeling wounded or you're grieving or you're disappointed about this relationship. But, you know, although it may have felt unexpected, you saw it coming. I really feel like you saw it coming on some level. And so now is the time to accept the situation. This is a number eight. This is a cycle, right? This is a cycle that's happening at this time in your connection. Accept what's happening. Accept what's happening at this time and don't fight it because there's benefit coming because it often takes an ending to bring forth this new beginning. And it's gonna take the storm to cleanse the field of this connection, okay? So what's this all about? Him, this King of Scrolls, this King of Scrolls. He's going through something major right now. This King of Scrolls energy is all about someone who is, um, you know, uh, overthinking, he's analytical. Um, he's overthinking his love connection with his feminine right now. That's why he's in a crossroad, crossroads. And so maybe his communication is very poor at this time, okay? And he's experiencing a block in his understanding. When he comes into a place where he's not in this shadow aspect, it will really be that he comes into his wisdom and he'll be able to communicate. And he's going to have a deeper understanding and clarity of, his, of this connection and what he wants from it, okay? And this is the treasure trove when he comes into this full power of this King of Scrolls. And then what happens? Wishes get fulfilled. Your wishes of this union will be fulfilled, okay? So that's where they're at. They're very much in this very, very powerful time at this time. So this power play of this chess game, this BS deceit that's happening, that he's showing you that he's strong, let him do it. You saw it coming. Detach from that. Let him come out of this over-analytical, overthinking energy and let him come into his wisdom so that your wishes can be fulfilled. I got to tell you, bottom of the deck, Queen of Keys, this is very much Queen of Pentacles energy. She is guiding the way. This Queen of Pentacles energy, by she's leading the way. She's staying strong. She's going to go within. This Queen of Keys energy is very much like the Queen of Pentacles in the sense that she has her enterprise. She has her pentacles. She has her environment set up. And she stands proud and she stands confident, okay? So she is just going to stand in her Queen power while he comes into this King energy, okay? Understands that it's not about, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's always about love. All right, so, uh, by the way, the bottom of the deck for the Blessed Bee, last breath. Remember, we got this on my reading that I just did, uh, the last reading that I did. This connection is in its final breath of lessons before we come into the new beginning. The bottom of the deck for the messages, twin flame. You guys are twin flames. You guys are twin flames. The bottom of the deck for the clarifiers for that was the five of pentacles. While you are twin flames at this time, going through this grief, being in this crossroads, doing your shadow work, deceiving your feminine to show her that you're strong when you're not. Um, you know, in this energy of him, you know, like there's parts of him that are unawakened and this energy of um, that he's ascending into the king of cups. This is all happening through this five of pentacles energy, through this lack mentality, through the separation, okay? So again, just to recap our messages here for um, the connection, the blessings, he's going to get a fresh start with her. They are going to have a, a resolution. That's her blessing. And they will have together, they'll be blessed with this wisdom, this maturity, and they will have this newfound inspiration because they're on the final stages 
of this part of this contract, okay? So for the messages, remember, you know, he is at a crossroads about whether or not he wants to revive this connection. He is grieving over his queen of pentacles, but yet he's deceiving her and showing her that he is strong when he's not. She knows that he's ascending into this king of cups energy and he'll open up his heart. But right now we want to come out of this unawakened state, the parts of him that are unawake. And she is doing her shadow work as the empress in the bottom of the deck for those again was that you are twin flames and yes this lack of this lack mentality the self-esteem the separation that that's part of this journey and finally in our akashic records for where they are there is a power play dynamic going on at this time there has been a sudden loss and conflict over the connection that you knew was coming because he needs to come out of the shadow of the king of scrolls as this over analytical you know overthinking person and get into his wisdom so that wishes can be fulfilled and our queen of pentacles queen of keys energy is guiding the way for this contract what's going on in his head heart and 3d space bottom of the deck for him he's chosen to see her as the queen of swords she's not the queen of swords today okay this is not third party i did enough clarifications that i didn't even bother showing because i have too many cards but she's not the queen of swords but he's seeing her like that because he's choosing to see her like that because he wants to see her in this harsh energy so that he has an easier time walking away from her or choosing a path away from her. His clarifier is judgment. This is the evaluation. He's using bad judgment, thinking of her as the Queen of Swords energy so that he can deceive himself again, right? Deceive himself, sabotage this connection again on any kind of second chance or rebirth. Head, heart, and 3D space for our feminine page of cups princess of cups okay so she's like i got a cup i can't really drink from right now because why because of this conflict that they're in five of wands she knows they're in conflict the lightning bolt happened she knows it she knows it she knows it she knows it so what is happening in his headspace when he thinks about his feminine i got a lot of cards here so okay so when he thinks about his divine feminine, he's slow, man. Knight of shields, knight of pentacles. Slow movement, movement you can't even see right now, right? He's moving very slowly towards what? Towards this four of wands energy, towards this connection, okay? That's what he's moving forward, moving towards or wants to move towards, towards a place of stability. But he's in this five of swords energy, this loss. He's just like, you know what? This is getting too hard for me. I don't win. She doesn't win. I'm just going to lose this connection. Okay. And so what is this? I clarified it. It's the nine of wands. He doesn't want to give up because he's very wounded. It's been a long journey. Okay. Nine of wands. He doesn't want to give up. The nine of wands is a card of perseverance. Boy, you've been through it, right? We've been through this loss before. So that's what he's deceiving. He's like, he's like, I'm at a crossroads about this connection. I'm, you know, deceiving myself. I'm going to show you that I'm strong, that I can walk away from you. He doesn't want to. He wants to hang in there. But right now, he's just working on his independence. Nine of pentacles. Working on his money. He got a lot of pentacles in his part of the reading. He just wants his confidence. He wants to feel like he has the money. And I said, well, tell me what this is about. Queen of pentacles. And now she didn't come out as the queen of pentacles, but I do know that it is her because there is no third party. So I said, okay, well, he wants to match her because, you know, that's how she came up in the Akashic records. And that's about their twin flame contract. So I know that's her. So this nine of pentacles, he's like, I want to, I want to match my queen of pentacles. I said, all right, give me another card. King of pentacles. That's the match. He wants to match her. Okay. At her level. So I said, okay, give me another card. Hanged man. That's why he's paused this connection. He had to suspend this connection. I said, why? Because he needs to feel like the emperor. Okay, so then we go into the two of wands energy in his headspace. He's like, I'm at a crossroads. This is a crossroads. Decision making. What's the decision about? Page of pentacles. All he has is this page energy of a coin for you at this time. And he doesn't like it. He, he wants to be the emperor, but all he has to give you is a coin is an offer as a page. And I know you don't care, feminines, but he cares. He cares. Where is our feminine in her headspace when she thinks about her um, masculine? I'll tell you. One second. 
Okay, where is she? First card out, King of Wands. She's like, I just need him to take action. I need him to take action. I need to be this, need him to be this leader, this inspired, have a fire under his butt energy to come towards me. Okay. And I said, what is this about? Magician. And this is really about like, is he going to manifest into this magician, have all the tools and resources? When she thinks about him, she's like, is he going to have the wisdom? Is he going to have the love? Is he going to have the pentacles? Right? Is he going to have the um, passion? Right? So she's like, is he going to be able to manifest this action? Right? And so she goes into this high priestess energy in her headspace. She's like, I got to retreat from him. I have to retreat from him. I'm going to use my intuition. So when she goes to into, into, her, into her intuition, what does she find? Nine of pentacles. She knows intuitively that, yes, he needs to feel like the emperor. He needs to have his money together. That's what her intuition is telling her. So then we have the queen of wands, which is the match to the king of wands. So she goes into this energy where she's like, man, I got to figure out if he's going to be able to do this or not. And I said, clarify this queen of wands energy, four of wands, stability. Four of wands is what he's moving towards slowly. So she's like, I'm just going to create my own stability at this time. I want him to be my match. Four of wands, king of wands, queen of wands. She knows he is her match. But she, in her intuition, she knows that he needs to feel financially and financially and stably. And her his stability needs to be her match. So the queen of wands knows this. The high priestess knows this. The last card is the queen of cups. She's trying to not stay in just that Queen of Wands energy. She's trying to stay in this Queen of Cups emotional state, compassion, understanding. I said, clarify that, Ace of Wands. She's, she needs to stay in this energy for this new beginning because she knows that ultimately he is ascending, remember, ascending into the King of Cups. So she's trying to stay in her Queen of Cups energy, but she knows that that Queen of Wands energy is requires that king of wands as well where he hopefully can manifest uh, all of those tools and resources to come forward to her okay so now in his heart when he feels for his feminine what is he feeling well i'll tell you okay so when he's in his heart space for his divine feminine we have gosh my nails aren't long anymore so i'm having a hard time picking them up okay so uh first card three cups and i was like oh god please don't let this be third party but but i already knew it's not so i clarified it anyway because just fyi this is about an invitation this is about getting together in his heart he wants to see her in his heart he wants to get together with her i clarified that we got eight of swords this reunion is stuck at this time i said why because he needs to feel successful six of wands i said give me another card before union six of cups he can't, he just can't, he can't come forward yet until he feels like he is victorious, that he is successful. He won't come forward until he gains the wisdom that she doesn't care about the money. And so in his heart space, King of Cups, he does have feelings in his heart as the King of Cups. He's feeling sensitive about this. That's why he's in that grief energy about his Queen of Pentacles, okay? He is having, he is feeling sensitive. He is in his feelings about that. And I said, give me, what's that, what's that energy about the fool? He does. He wants to take a leap of faith. He wants to have a new journey with her. He wants to have a new beginning. But again, six of wands. He needs to feel successful. Dupe. And I said, what's a six of wands about? Death, which is about this connection needs to transform. And I said, what about? What's the transformation? These two flew out together. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles. He needs to get out, cycle out of this lack mentality, cycle out of this low self-esteem, okay? So what's he doing in his heart space? He's working hard. He's working hard at his job so that he can have this real new beginning with her. That's He knows it. He's just working really hard at his job to get all his pentacles together. He's got the knight of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, the king of pentacles, the page of pentacles. He's got um five of pentacles an ace of pentacles the eight of pentacles yeah all kinds of pentacles it's all about his money right now and i'm only in the head and heart i haven't even gone to the 3d yet so now what's happening with our feminine in her heart space when she feels for her masculine what's happening in her heart well first card six of wands she wants success with him she wants victory with him too but in love Okay, very different. He got six of wands two times, but it's about money for him. She wants success in this union. 
She wants success in this partnership. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, clarified by the Magician and the Four of Wands. She wants to manifest this union, a successful union. And this messaging, Page of Wands energy, there's this inspiration, there's this communication that right now in her heart space she knows needs to be healed, that needs to be balanced out. That's why he's in the Five of Swords. This wounding, this, this communication has been challenged. And so in her heart space, she knows he's his divine partner. I said, clarify this to make sure it's not choices. And I got the King of Cups, which is who he is representing himself as in his heart. She's, she knows that her masculine is her divine partner, okay? Now, what is happening in the environment of our masculine as related to the feminine? First card out, Empress. Remember, we already got the Empress in the messages. She's already calling herself out as the Empress. She's the High Priestess. She's the Queen of Wands. And she is the Queen of Cups, okay? Empress. In the 3D, in the environment, he knows that she is his queen. I clarified that. We got the magician and the lovers. He wants to manifest this connection and he's working very hard towards it, but he's working hard on it through his money, through his finances and not with his heart space, okay? So he wants to, in the 3D, manifest this connection with his feminine, but he's got, he's got conflict, five of wands. He's got a lot of conflict. And what is that conflict? Is the 10 of wands, is his burden. And where do we get the 10 of wands for him? We got the Ten of Wands in his energy of this deception that he's pretending to be strong, and that's the burden. And so he's burdened by this pretending of trying to be strong, when in the 3D, he wants to manifest this relationship, but he's got inner conflict about how he's going to be her match. Because Ten of Pentacles, another pentacle, he wants to build with her long term and be this equal partner, Six of Pentacles. He's all about the pentacles, man. All about the money in this in this reading. What is happening in her environment as related to her masculine? I'll tell you. Let's see here. Okay. For her, ace of pentacles. She wants this new beginning as well, which is what he's working hard towards, right? Eight of Pentacles, he's working hard at his job, self-mastery, so he can have this Ace of Pentacles in the 3D with his feminine here. That's what she wants too in the 3D. That's what's happening in her environment. She wants it too, but she's getting some clarity. She's having a breakthrough. I said, what is the breakthrough about? The moon. So this is about her using her intuition. We already have the High Priestess energy where she used her intuition to know that he needs to feel financially secure. And so what is this about? Her breakthrough is that she's using her intuition that he needs to feel financially secure before reunion can happen, Six of Cups. And remember, the Six of Cups clarified that he needs to be successful before he will come forward to her in reunion, right? That Three of Cups energy is trapped. Until he can be victorious, then he will have reunion. So in the 3D, she's dealing with the separation. And I said, what about it? Eight of Cups. Right? She wants to move towards her happiness and take action. She wants to move out of it quickly. Knight of Wands. She's like, I'm done with the separation. I want to be happy. But what happened? The tower happened. This whole relationship has collapsed again. And now we need to rebuild. And I said, what's the tower about? It's a big burden for her at this time. This Ten of Wands. He's got it. She's got it. He's got it in his inner conflict. He's got it in his, he's pretending to be strong. And so it's crumbled this foundation yet again. And so that is her burden. And I said, give me another clarifier, Empress, again. She's just like in this Empress energy where she's doing her tower, her, her shadow work again through this tower moment, okay, as the Empress. What is happening in their current connection, guys? Bottom of the deck, King of Cups, okay? He's morphing into the King of Cups, clarifiers. Who's he? Emperor. He's going to get to a place. That's what's happening in this energy right now is he's very much going through this morph. He is very much going through this metamorphosis. That's why we have this death card here, clarifying this energy of success. He's transforming this energy to come out of this feeling of lack to be in the space of love. So first card out, nine of wands. There is wounding in the connection. Yes, of course there is. Nine of wands clarifies the five of swords. Right now, 
there is there are wounds in the connection now in the book because i you always like to look at the book for this so when the nine of staves comes out in the lover's path tarot this is all about responsibility a pause before success yes remember hanged man for this nine of pentacles energy so that he can be the match to his queen of pentacles the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles are suspended because he is working on his money to be the emperor this is the card responsibility pause before success this is a pause in work to rest and reconsider plans and there's a need for protection or separation at this time there is so they are separated they are they're separated i said clarify nine of wands two of cups their union is in separation at this time but this is the pause before the success okay five of cups there is sadness in this connection at this time there's sadness in this connection five of cups energy has very much to do with sadness grief remember we got grief in his energy he's telling you he's sad over his queen of pentacles uh, and when you get this card in the lover's path tarot this is about disappointment it's about sadness it's about pessimism, feeling trapped. What's trapped? Eight of Swords in his energy. What's trapped? This reunion is trapped at this time. So we're sad that things are trapped right now. And that we're because we're concentrating on our problems, this lack instead of our assets. Okay? And to clarify this, what is it? Justice. There's this need to balance things out. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles are already a match. But he needs to see it that way. She already sees her, him as the king of wands to her queen of wands. She already sees him as the king of cups to the queen of cups. She already sees him this way. So this, this needs to get balanced out in the connection. So right now, the next card is strength. They're gaining the strength. Remember, in the messages, he's telling you, he's deceiving you about being strong. So what's the clarifier? Five of Pentacles. He's deceiving you through the separation that he's strong. So what does the Lover's Path Tarot say about the strength card? This says it's about transformation of weakness into strength. He's turning into a strong masculine. This is about the strength to do great deeds. This is about confident leadership. He is turning into the strong masculine through this separation okay then what happens then justice occurs remember we just got justice through the sadness now justice occurs over this loss by the swords for him that he's wounded we get balanced out we are bound he's going to get it quickly i'm get, really getting that strongly right now it's coming through in my intuition that he's going to balance this out quickly and come forward quickly so this justice card this is about justice will be done it's about confident patience need for a more detached viewpoint to a troublesome situation this this uh detachment remember this came up in the akashic records in this lightning bolt time to detach so he can come into this king of scrolls energy so it's detached through this conflict right and then there's this wisdom card this is the high priestess when that card comes up it's all about um education knowledge enlightenment and who's the enlightened one right now the empress our divine feminine so this is about wisdom that's gained through understanding this is about using your wisdom to transform a difficult situation into the better so this is about detach right now through this lightning bolt energy so he can evolve and our wishes can be fulfilled and lastly then offers page of coins can be made towards the contract so what is this princess of coins energy in the lover's path tarot it's all about taking responsibility it's about messages it's about fertility this is about gaining the knowledge necessary to make an idea a reality this magician's energy a reality this is also about messages that bring the possibility for expansion and so there's going to be a message about this connection and about this um communication it's gonna happen it's gonna happen this contract's gonna happen 
uh, because he, our masculine, is evolving into his heart space and he will become the emperor, okay? I don't do future energies anymore and I think that's okay. Um, but let me, just out of curiosity, I'm so curious now, let me just quickly, I'm going to use this tarot deck here, this tarot of dreams, and let me just pull maybe three or four cards on the future energies for this connection. Six of Swords. We're going to move forward. We're going to move forward. Come out of this energy of loss, of defeat. We're going to move forward in the future. What else? Oops. That's why I don't shuffle on camera. <laughs> few more cards please future energies okay and then we got justice justice will be served things are going to get balanced out we got the justice card now one time two time now three times we're moving forward into balancing things out one more card The magician, we're going to manifest. We're going to have the tools. The magician came out here for him being the king of wands. The magician came out as he wanting to manifest this divine connection with his empress. Last card. God, two of cups, union, 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 union. This is what happens, guys. The union will occur. Two of cups. We man, we go into this the smoother time. We come out of the rough patch. We balance things out and we manifest union. Okay, is this pushing it? I'm gonna do one more. That's it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's it. I'm going to do the bottom of the deck. The star. Because we've been guided the whole way. What's the last card? Ace of Wands. I, listen, man, you guys are watching this real time. We're coming out of this fight, coming out of this loss. Things get balanced out. We manifest this union into a brand new beginning. Ace of Wands. Oh my God. I'm going to leave it there. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you for watching. And if you want to book your own personal reading or coaching session with me, if you want to book your Akashic Records with me, go to queenoflight1111.com. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Bye-bye.